In Unit 3, we're going to focus on how to use cascading style sheets to format and structure your page. But some people often start by just using basic tables. So I just deleted that text I added before, and I'm going to add a table to really structure my website. So I'm going to go to Insert, Table. In this case, I'm just going to do a 2x2 two two table. I'm going to keep these things as they are. If I wanted to, I could... Actually, I'll do border thickness 1, and I'm going to hit OK. Then I can sit here and I can play with these as I see fit. I could highlight these together, go to table, and merge them if I wanted to. In this case, I'm just going to click on this and drag it down. Drag it down some more. Drag it over. And up here, I'm going to highlight these two. I'm going to right click, go to table, and merge cells. Drag that down a little. And then as I'm clicking on this table, and keep in mind, you'll see these in this little bar down here. If I click on this tag, it will actually highlight the whole table. But here, I'm going to click within this big area. I'm going to get a background color. I'm going to hit white. So just like that, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do a background color. I'm going to do it. We'll just do like a gray. So just like that, I've used a table to structure my page. Hit save. I'm going to see what it looks like. So you can see it's it's kind of big. It's so big that you actually can't even see it on this web page or on this recording. So if I make it smaller, but you can see that this is basically just a basic web page with a blue background with a table and the table I made different colors um, the backgrounds of each. If I click anywhere on this table, if I right click and go to table, select table, and if you're in a Mac you can always do it, I believe it's Apple click it, um, for the right click option, but I'm going to select the table and when I do that the properties change. So In this case I'm going to change this rather than percent, I'm going to change this to pixels I'm going to change this to, let's say, 800. Hit Enter. I'm going to then change my line to Center. And if I wanted to, I could play with the cell space and padding. I recommend doing that. But in this case, I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to preview it. So this is what it looks like. And so now you can already see the making of a web page coming. So that's how easy it is to set up a table and use it to structure your content. If I go back to this, keep in mind that I could always right click select table. If I make the boarding, the border zero, it still provides me that same structure. But then you can't actually see it. Or you can't see the borders, if you will. So either way, keep in mind how you can use tables to structure the layout of your web page.